All right, welcome back everyone. So I'm actually cleaning up the interior of my dad's car. I'm actually getting ready to ceramic coat again the seats again with C-Quartz leather. But I'm actually going to uh, repair the uh, trim piece here. This is the uh, the cup holder area, of course, with the shift knob. Um, well, we got this piece here where a uh, little storage area. I'm going to show you the condition it's in. Uh, it's been about a little, it's been over a year since um, this thing's been polished out. I did uh, put a ceramic coating on it. I put the 22 Pili VX Pro 2, which is like whatever. I was just trying to use it up. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to use this uh, slick back primer polish from Shine Supply. This is like a essence, uh, but it doesn't have fillers. Let me just shake it up real quick. Then I'll show you guys the condition. Uh, let me just put some on the pad. That's what I'm doing here. That should be good enough. Uh, let me put this down here on the floor. And then we'll look at the condition here. I have the headlamp here. so scan grip you can see how swirled that is so it's pretty banged up uh, from just the uh, daily use um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that polish on here and just kind of spread it out and I'll just do this section so you guys can actually see what we're what this can do uh, let's try speed 3 on the group nano here for a second now this polish does not have a lot of cuts a lot of the cuts gonna come from the pad this just has a light cut I'm not trying to um, remove it 100% we're just trying to make it look better and I have it set on the rotary setting and the reason I have it on the rotary setting because it just spins better than the uh, than the DA setting and we're just going to do some slow lapping passes here this is actually probably a little too much speed And this is actually a primer polish for, uh, before a coating. This is actually Sanctified version. I think that should be good enough. So let's go ahead and uh, wipe this off. And we'll see what type of condition we're in. Because you guys saw the before. Um, so you can see it's a lot better just with the Rupa's yellow pad. Yeah, there's some deeper uh, scratches in here, but that's okay. I'm not trying to make this uh, perfect. Let me take off the headlamp here because it's easier for me to just show it, uh, show you guys. Uh, but compared to, um, that's actually cleaner. Let me wipe that down. Actually, it's polished residue. So I'm just go ahead and shine this light back on there. You can actually see the the condition is it's pretty, you know, it's not as swirled as down here, but look, it's pretty pretty good now. And then here's uh, pretty pretty swirled up here as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean this up. I just want to show you guys the condition that it's in. You don't really need a, he a real heavy cut uh, polish to get results like this. And I'll clean the cup holders uh, later, but uh, again, just to get results like this. You don't need a lot of polish with a lot of cut. And again, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish the rest. We'll go ahead and uh, uh, put a coating on here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to, I don't know what coating I'm going to put on here. You can put, put any coating you want on here. It can be a trim coating. It can be a paint coating, whatever, you know, your choice. Um, we'll see. I'll probably just put the Adams coating on here, see how that uh, fares. So again, that's just a quick recap of, uh, or how to, of how to polish out your, your interior trim pieces to get them looking good again so uh thanks for watching hey everyone so welcome back i'm getting some sun over here sorry about that but um i'm hoping this shows up on camera pretty well but you guys saw me polish this area out yesterday with the uh, with the rupes nano and and that um slick back primer polish slick black or whatever the heck it's called from shine supply uh right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and, and put the ceramic coating i'm going to use the um adams uh uv tracer coating I already poured some on the applicator and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put on this section here and we'll see if we're able to see the um, the UV tracer. It's pretty glossy and then there's still daylight so I don't know if we're going to be able to see that but anyway what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and put the coating. I actually put too much on this uh, suede applicator and I'm leaning in the car because I already coated the 
the seats. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the, the buttons. Um, Adams has come out and said that their um, coating can be used on, on plastic trim. And then they got rid of their trim coating, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use it on like, these plastic areas as well. So we'll let that uh, flash. You can see, I don't know if it shows up on camera. There it is. The rainbow effect that we get. I mean, kind of, there you go. Block out the sunlight here with my hand, but you can see the rainbow effect we get with the Adams coating. And so we'll see if we get the, the UV tracer portion of it. God. Uh, you can see the coating rainbowing right there too. We'll see if we get the UV tracer portion compared to this uh, piece here. Um, it's, it looks like I said it's still kind of too much daylight at the moment, but we'll see. I'll let this flush off for just a few more seconds and then we'll, uh, we'll wipe it off. So you can see that the rainbow rainbowing is starting to die off a little bit. That means it's starting to flash off. At this point, I go ahead and, and wipe off the coating. Adam's coating, the new one, this new coating is pretty nice to work with. It leaves the surface... Um, slick and it seems to stay slick for um, for a couple at least for a couple months at least that's what I'm seeing in my um, in my test let's go ahead and wipe those areas that I put this on I flip to the other side and then I'll wipe it off final wipe and we'll see if we see anything with this UV light. I don't know because there's kind of too much daylight here at the moment, but we'll try. Ah, so you can actually see. Let's see if I can, maybe it's better if I do it there. How it looks blue compared to that. So that's how you know that the coating is on there. Is you get that blue light effect, like on what we're seeing here, compared to that panel. So. I'm just going to go ahead and coat that, and then we're going to call this a day, but I just want to show you guys how I um, polish and, and protect these interior pieces. And like I said, you don't need a real, um, depending on how beat up your trim is inside, that'll dictate what type of uh, you know product you're going to use, if, whether you need a compound or polish, but if you, uh, you don't need a lot because these are pretty soft. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching and catch on the next one.